So what were the giant leaps over the period of your activity? Well, there was the biggest leap for me, and it was a, uh, a blind alley, was uh, Linus Pauling's work. Pauling was very interested in immunology and had developed a very uh, elegant uh, elaboration of existing ideas, but giving them great chemical profundity with his, because he was so brilliant chemically. Um, but he was absolutely wrong in his basic ideas, it turned out. Um, nevertheless, they influenced me a lot. And one of the first things I had done when I was back at NYU, to give you an idea what chemistry immunology was like then. Um, I was working in the biochemistry lab with this NIH supported fellowship. Um, and I was working on these sulfonamide drugs as, as sort of haptins that would use raise antibodies against them. And a guy working at the bench next to me, Fred, a man named Fred Karish, was studying the binding of detergents to serum albumin. He just was interested in protein interactions using a technique called equilibrium dialysis. Well, I got the idea that we could use that same technique to look at a binding of small molecules to antibodies. And so I teamed up with Fred Karish, and we did that. I, may, we, I raised the antibodies against uh, some small molecules, phenylbenzene arsenic acid. Fred provided the dialysis bags. <laughs> the technique was very incredibly simple. And we did the dialysis. The first experiments were, were fantastic. They worked. And we were able to measure the number of binding sites on the antibody molecule and the binding affinity in terms of good physical chemical uh, measurements equilibrium constants in molar terms, and published that in the Journal of the American Chemical Society as a short note. So Lance, uh, so Pauling, who is the Nobel Prize winner and a great leader in this whole field, sent us a letter of congratulations. <laughs> but it was a very curious twist. He said he was delighted to see our results, and I forgot exactly how we put it, but he said he was so pleased to see us confirm his ideas. <laughs> now, what was his idea he referred to? That an antibody molecule had two sites, two binding sites. That's what we found, quantitatively. And there's been speculation before that. Could we have one site per antibody, multiple sites? There are a lot of arcane reasons why people were debating it. We came up clearly with two. Unambiguously with two. So I delighted Pauling, because that's what he had been saying. But the literature was small. Uh, we knew only antibodies and had to make them in a sort of primitive way. It was, um, it had only become firmly established a few years before that antibodies were proteins. Some people disputed the idea. 